once there were quadroon balls, elegance in St. Louis. Lace mulattoes gambling down the Mississippi to Memphis, New Orleans. So my character is a lady in purple and she goes through various challenges. The first one is as a dancer, Sashita, and in a way she's, she's partly Sashita herself, but then she's also telling the story of Sashita. And it just talks about having your heritage stolen, a very rich heritage like the Egyptians, like Nefertiti, who are supposed to be very beautiful, but being taken away from your home and brought somewhere else where people take all the things that are unique about you and sometimes they, it might make it seem like you know it's a beautiful thing but sometimes the same things that used to praise you are the same things that used to ridicule you and to debase you and so I think Sushita was the story of a woman who had to face the challenge of seeing herself as ugly in when she knows that she has a history of, like, of being beautiful so it was coming to terms with that trying to find out who you are when I first heard that we were doing Four Colored Girls in Cambridge, I was very intrigued because it's not one of the traditional plays that you hear about well, in an environment like Cambridge. One of my other poems is Pyramids, which is the story of friendship and trust and loyalty being broken, both in a relationship with, in a romantic relationship and in relationships with your friends. And it shows, it's a, it's a very, basic problem that people face almost every day and while some of the other poems, the poem really touched me because while some of the other poems deal with big issues like rape and abortion that some people may not have gone through and may feel like they cannot relate to, it talks about how at the end of the day love and friendship can overcome some of the toughest situations you face and how to get back to that place of trust after betrayal has happened. The play challenges everyone who watches it and it also challenges the cast. It deals with so many issues that all women face and to a certain extent it also, in fact to a large extent it affects men as well because it really forces you to look at yourself and question yourself, question your values, question the way you act and I think it gives you some sort of perspective on what everyone else is going through, struggles that sometimes you may think you're alone facing. So, for me, it was a very challenging play, but then it was also very rewarding because 